Offset. In a recent interview with the Million Dollars Worth of Game podcast, let it be known that whatever him and Quavo decide to do as a group or individually going forward, it's on them. And stop asking him about it. Offset said, I don't feel like I owe it to people to show how much me and bro love each other. We went through something. We don't have to show y'all smiles and faces, so stop doing that. We ain't on no sucker ish with each other. We both came in this ish with each other, and we both knew that. We And we lost our brother. I still go through stuff. I know bro go through it. People love each other, though, at the end of the day. We men, we real brothers, and we cool with it. Don't ever try and turn us against each other. I hate that ish. At the end of the day, it ain't your business. And I'm not, I'm not, I don't feel like I owe it to people to show how much me and bro love each other. So when be, and I'm going to say that because I'm on some real shit, real mm -hmm. podcast. This right. ain't no interview where somebody trying to ask me about yeah. this. They don't give a right. on this. So I speak like, I, I don't feel like it's our job to show y'all how we, like, we got some, we, we went through some. Mm -hmm. We don't have to show you smiles and faces and do and y'all be so stop doing that and like niggas ain't hating on each other niggas congratulating niggas when niggas dropping songs like they ain't on no suckers for each other nigga we came in this shit together and we both knew that understood that and we lost our brother like mm -hmm. so we don't get into the because i see little shit that people y'all need to da, 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 da. let us do that right. we man let y'all do, do that let y'all pick let's let do that because we not hating on each other right now we talking about music, song, why this shit hard and like we, we 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 talk, you know what I mean? It ain't it ain't for us to be doing that shit like for the pictures, and shit like yeah. that. Like still go through. Shit. I know, bro, go through shit mm -hmm. that I can't think of. He knows how to go through shit that he can't think of. Right. Just love each other though. At the end of the day, but niggas, men, just gotta you know we men, we real brothers, and we gon' we gotta. We got to space out and we cool with it. So be cool with it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Don't ever try to turn us against each other and shit like that. I hate that shit. Right. Them comments and shit like that because they don't know. At the end of the day, it ain't your business. People been and got so into dialing into people because like, of they famous like whole life. And your life kind of be making you sometimes. Mm -hmm. Especially in my world. Like sometimes your life or your mistakes uh, make you to the people. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Got to respect what Offset said. You know, um, I think sometimes as fans, we make things in our mind and we're mad when our theories in our mind are not how they end up being in real life, right? Like, I think in our mind, after losing takeoff, we want to see Offset and Quavo go around and perform in, in, in venues all over the place, just like how they did it on the BET Awards last year, right? But if you listen to Offset and Quavo, they both kind of spoke about how they just felt it in that moment to do it for the rocket. These are real human beings, y'all. You know, one of the two stories I got for y'all, and then I'll let y'all go. Two stories, but I, I think y'all gonna wanna hear these stories. Number one, the first story is, I spent some time in Lawrenceville, and I've been to a couple Quavo honcho days in Georgia, right? One of the one of the things I learned quickly when I went to those honcho days is, you know, these are people. And I and I did these, you know, I covered these events when obviously Takeoff was still alive. And and obviously Quavo and Offset were a part of the days as well. So when I got to talk to people that knew um these dudes when they were just little jits at Berkmar High School and Berkmar on up, right? In the in the neighborhood, you realize that these are people and they had a lot of success as a group their family, but they're still human beings that have their own lives away from each other. And I know in our minds, we think the Migos, like, right? Like do it for the takeoff, like, but these are humans. And I think that's what Offset is speaking to. He's a human. I remember one time I was somewhere, I'm not gonna tell y'all where I was at, but it wasn't Memphis. And somebody saw me. And obviously I'm not a star like Offset, but people know me cause my job is, is pretty cool. Somebody, a dude walks up to me and said, hey, Nigga, what you doing here? You ain't in Memphis. I was like, what? I can't go nowhere else. I can't be. In his mind, because of how I got my start in things and obviously covering a lot of Memphis news out of the gate, when Memphis was becoming the biggest rap city in the game, in his mind, he associates me with Memphis because he knows I'm from there. He can't even imagine a world where I'm not there. 
right? That's what I gave the world, though. It's not his fault. That's what he thought. Like, in his mind, when he thinks me, he thinks, you got to be doing this. I'm a 30-year-old man with a family. You know what I mean? Like, I'm so, like, I think sometimes in our mind, we envision things about people that we love, but these people have real lives, real families, real teams. By the way, Offset got a whole team. You know, Quavo's got a whole team. They got different managers. There's a lot, and things have happened. So I respect Offset for saying, stay out of business. Time, love, and support with your boy. We don't take for granted. I'm out. I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing. Why build theirs when I believe I can build my own? You've already done it, or I wouldn't be here. I'm already the only elite sports and music journalist in the game today. My goal is simple, to be the best there's ever been. So, please don't go. Make sure you subscribe and follow the journey. It truly means everything to me. I tell stories. I talk music. I cover sports. I am culture. I am Pharaoh.